Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Evolve with Emily show. I'm your host, Emily Hayden, and you are listening to another Monday message. Every single Monday, I bring a message of the day to you guys. So here's today's message. Your greatest teacher in this world is not going to be a person or a speaker or a certain thing, but your greatest teacher in this world is going to be your lived experience. Your lived experience will teach you so much more than any podcast, any book, any advice, any speaker could teach you. Your lived experience will be the thing that molds and shapes you into that best version of yourself or not, right? Because two people can go through the same thing and respond completely differently. So it's actually your response to your lived experience that will produce one or the other, right? And if you want to live a great life, if you want to live a fulfilling life, if you want to live the happiest life, most peaceful and joyful life that you can possibly live, you have to choose to use every single thing in your lived experience to make you better. So knowing that your lived experience is your greatest teacher, then I would ask you guys, what have you currently been experiencing in your life and what is your response to it? These are questions that you should write down and after this podcast, really answer them in every single area of your life. What is your current lived experience? And how are you responding to this lived experience? And now the next question that I would ask, and you know, this question comes from the fact that we as humans are, we are creatures of habit. A lot of us have the same routines. We eat the same meals. We do the same thing on Thursday nights, right? A lot of us have these habits and routines and patterns, which can be very good, right? They can be what helps us practice dedication and consistency in our lives. And that's incredible. And it's a crucial aspect of building and growing that drive, that discipline, that relentless relentless work ethic. However, if we never have a pattern interrupt, if we never step outside of our patterns in our comfort zones, how will we be able to grow? How will we know what else is out there for us? So I want to encourage you guys today to ask yourself, when is the last time that you went and sought out a new experience in life? When did you go and feel fear and feel resistance and choose to go and do that thing anyways? Whether it's an event or it's moving or a new job, something you know big change, life changing in life, or it's something as small as a little class, right? When is the last time that you went and sought out a new experience? If you always stay in the same patterns, if you always stay in the same experiences in life, you're going to be very limited in your growth. You're going to be very limited in your teachability. Every time that you choose to put yourself in a situation where you are the beginner in the room, you're the amateur in the room, now you have an opportunity to learn and grow. Now, I believe everybody should always have a mentality of being a student, of being someone that can learn no matter if you're in your field of expertise, or if you're in a completely new field, that can be a mentality, a heart posture that you choose to keep. But I think it's really important that you go out and try new experiences and try new things and try things that are outside of your comfort zone so that you can get that real tangible experience. Don't just listen to this podcast. The number one thing that I want you guys to get, and I've said it so many times and I'll keep saying it, is I want you to learn to execute on what is spoken about. Sometimes we can be in this information overload and this content overload where we just consume a ton of content and we're like getting inspired, right? We're like, yes, this is amazing. This is the way forward. This is the champion mentality. This is how to overcome. These are, you know, all of these great guiding and teaching points. And I'm learning from this shared experience, which is wonderful. But sometimes people never put that into action, right? We talk all the time about getting outside of your comfort zone, but when's the last time that you actually got outside of your comfort zone? When's the last time that you put yourself in that scenario where you are feeling fear and you're feeling resistance and you're feeling like, I don't know if I want to do this. When's the last time you actually did that in your life? So answer that question after this podcast and then decide where in your life you're going to take action. How are you going to choose to execute on the things that you've been learning? And this would be a really great time for you to check in and say, okay, from all the things that I've currently been consuming, whether it's a teaching or a YouTube video or a podcast like this, how many times have I implemented what I've actually learned? Lived experience will be your best teacher. And this guys, this relates to every aspect of life, right? Think about it in spiritual terms. You can learn theology, you can learn about spirituality or religion or whatever you choose to learn about all day long, but nothing will compare 
to you having an experience of God, to you having experience of whatever it is that you've been studying. So maybe that's you today. Maybe you've been, you know, studying theology and trying to learn religion or learn spirituality or whatever it is for you. I want you to seek out experience. Don't seek out head knowledge. Head knowledge doesn't do very much. There's something so different between reading something and knowing about something inside of your head and actually having a true lived experience of it. Once you have a lived experience of it, nobody can take that away from you. And you won't doubt things. If you have doubt, if you lack faith in certain areas of your life, go out and get lived experience and you will no longer have to have that doubt or faith. You will actually have the experience, you'll have your own knowing and that will guide you forward. So ask where in your life have you been feeling resistance towards trying something new or resistance towards something you wanna do but maybe you feel a lot of fear towards. I wanna encourage you guys today to make today the day that you actually take action on that and execute in your life. If you'll get into that execution and that consistent execution and in interrupting those patterns and habits that you currently have, you will grow at an exponential rate. There is something so powerful about going out and experiencing all the things that we talk about, right? In this podcast, we talk a lot about the champion mentality. We talk about overcoming, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, right? And that was part of the motivation for me starting this new documentary, a YouTube series that I've started. If you guys don't know, I'm documenting a 12 week journey where I'm evolving into the best version of myself that I have ever been. And I'm putting myself in uncomfortable situations. I'm trying something completely new, which is jujitsu. And what it is doing is it is taking all of these podcasts, right? I sit here and I, I, I speak from experience because I've done these things multiple times. I just realized that it was time in my life for me to have new experiences of all of these things again. So for me, it is producing so much growth and I'm only at the week, the end of week two. So I really encourage you guys to utilize what you have in this podcast as a guiding force. Don't just listen to these things, but take notes. Maybe it's just one thing. Write down that one thing and decide that you're going to take action on that every single week. Every week, make sure that you're taking action, you're executing and you're using it as a mirror to figure out where you're currently at in life so that you can raise your self-awareness to where you're currently at, your thoughts, habits, patterns, beliefs, and then what kind of action you need to take in order to move the needle forward even just a little bit. If you would just choose just a little bit, that little bit day by day by day actually becomes a lot. And it seems insignificant in the moment. It seems like it won't make that big of a difference right now, but I guarantee you it will. Even if your action step is, I need to read 10 pages a day. By you reading 10 pages a day on a Tuesday, it doesn't seem that significant, but maybe on Thursday during your reading, you read something that like turns a light bulb on inside of you and changes your entire perspective of something really difficult that you've been experiencing that literally produces freedom in your life. Freedom is one of my core values just as a person and a human, because I believe that there are a lot of things in life that try to tie us down. There are a lot of things in life, whether it's core beliefs and values or negative experiences that we've had in life that can keep us imprisoned to the past. And I'm addicted to experiencing freedom. I'm addicted to overcoming these things that try to hold us back and having freedom of heart, of life, of soul, of ability to express ourselves, of speech, of everything, right? And I think it's so important that we really, really look into these different areas of life and figure out where in our life do we lack that? Because if we can identify that, then we can have a target to hit. And once you have a target to hit, you can hit it over and over and over again. And when you miss it, you learn, you grow, you use that as an opportunity to get better so that next time you hit, now you're a little bit closer to that target. And before you know it, it'll be bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. And then it's time to go to the next target, to go to the next level and to figure out what is this current season of my life? What is it? And how can I learn? How can I grow? How can I put myself in situations that are now uncomfortable? Because there becomes a time, there comes a time in your you know, journey in life and personal development where what once was uncomfortable, you're now pretty comfortable in that. And so don't fool yourself in thinking that just because this was once uncomfortable that you're choosing to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You have to get outside of that comfort zone fully. And you'll know when you're doing it, you'll feel feel fear. But I always say, feel the fear and do it anyways. That is the way forward. Look at the path and see what, it, what you have resistance towards. You need to move towards and through that resistance. Don't stop there. That's today's message. 
Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Evolve with Emily. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend, share it on your Instagram stories, tag at Evolve with Emily podcast, and let me know what you guys would like to see in the next one. And don't forget to tune in for the YouTube documentary series. The first episode will be releasing very shortly. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one.